We have got to become totally committed to Christ and the work of the ministry. In this dark day, it's demanding of us, it's a demand upon us to be just like God. I represent the kingdom. I don't represent myself. I represent the Christ. represent Jesus and him crucified. I represent love unfeigned. I represent peace that passes all understanding. I represent the God of all creation. We have a work to do for the kingdom before the return of Jesus Christ. Take it back. Take everything back. Take it all back. Grab a hold of what God promised you and take it out of the enemy's hands. Who am I talking to in this room? God has rendered the enemy powerless. We have to take on the very essence of Jesus when he was on this earth. Our job is to preach with one voice. One voice, the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ to a lost world. What is the work of the kingdom? To love everyone. Y'all don't hear me. He said, I gave you the power. Lay hands on the sick. And it shall recover. These are the signs, the power that shall follow those who believe. Perfecting Faith Church Initiatives has shown love in action in various ways for communities locally and globally. Now, in addition to our ongoing community activities, Perfecting Faith Church's vision is to provide housing and business opportunities locally here in New York. I am so excited to be able to invite every one of you to be a part of this great transformation in Perfecting Faith Church. We are the church in the community with the community at heart. And all that God has given us is taking a leap forward as we go into our capital campaign. That's right, where we are going to increase our resources so that we can change this church and the community surrounding it. Every single one of you can be a part of this transformation simply by doing this. 
You can simply use your smart device and text the word PFC Grow to the number 28950. By having 1,000 people to sow $100 a month, we can see this community grow and the lives surrounding it. Text the word PFC Grow to the number 28950. Now, we are changing the structure and the infrastructure of Perfecting Faith Church, becoming much more relevant. We are developing and building housing in this community. That's a part of the Onward vision. We are still continuing with our food distribution, feeding hundreds of families every single week. And the ministry goes on. A global ministry that has missions in Jamaica, a global ministry that has satellite members around the world. All of this is become Perfecting Faith Church's vision. Now, we will do so together in this capital campaign. Let's change this world right here, starting with Perfecting Faith Church, this global ministry. We'll do it together. Welcome to Perfecting Faith Church, where ministry means people, and our pastor is Pastor Donnie McClurkin. I am Elder Saruzai Makwande with the international team, and the, in a few minutes, you will be welcomed in different languages. Tinotenda vanave Zimbabwe, varukuna matanesu nasi, tinoku gamuchirai, nemzitara Jesu Christu. Tinovimba kuti mcharamba mchina matanesu. Munokwani sakuti wona pa YouTube ne pa Facebook. Muswechi tatu na 8 p.m. ne muswe shondo na 11 a.m. Tinovimba kuti mchafara ne kunzuka shokora mwari. Pano dipopa musha penyu. De parte del pastor Donald A. McClurkin Jr. y la iglesia Perfeccionando la Fe o Perfecting Faith Church, donde el ministerio significa gente, deseamos invitarle a reunirse con nosotros en vivo en las redes en Facebook o en YouTube. Nuestro horario de servicio es miércoles 7 p.m. hora del este y domingo 11 a.m. hora del este. Si desea contactar nuestras oficinas, estamos disponibles de lunes a viernes 9 a.m. a 5 p.m. hora del este. Nuestro número telefónico es 516-223-8300 otra vez confirmando 516-223-8300 que Dios me lo bendiga y acuérdese usted pertenece aquí pues es el bonjour bienvenido a la iglesia de Jere Perfecting Faith Church que dirige para pastor pastor Danny McClurkin nos contamos que usted decide venir monte live brancher avec nous sur Facebook a sur YouTube pour venir adorer avec nous matin là pas oublier Invitez les amis, invitez tout le monde, invitez tout le monde qu'on est pour venir monter là avec nous, pour venir adorer avec nous. Nous servons un gros bon Dieu. Pas oublier, bon Dieu, vlo là, ou méité là. Grâce bon Dieu avec nous tous. Amen. Bom dia a vocês, meus amados irmãos brasileiros. Em nome de Jesus, queremos te dar as boas-vindas à Perfecta em Faith Church. E por parte do pastor Dani McClurkin, queremos convidar vocês a participar conosco dos cultos todos os domingos, a partir das 11 da manhã, no Facebook e no YouTube. E também no Estudo Bíblico, todas as quartas-feiras, a partir das 8 da noite. E convide seus amigos, e não se esqueça, você... Você pertence aqui. Deus te abençoe. Aleluia. Under your peace is wonderful, Father God. Your peace, Lord. 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 Aleluia. Yes, God. You are a healing God. There's nothing too hard for you. You are a healing God. Yes, God. Those that are sick, Father God. Those that are suffering, Father God. In their bodies, in their minds, Father God. We declare healing right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Without faith, you said it's impossible to please you, Father God. I pray that our faith will rise up, Father God, that it will increase, Father God, that we see the glory of heaven rain down on earth, Father God. Hallelujah. That we will see healing take place, that we see your miracles in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God, we pray for peace in the Middle East. We pray for peace in Palestine. We pray for peace in Israel, Father God. Yes, God, yes, God. Peace, your peace, hallelujah. Oh my God, I thank you, Father God, for your peace. The peace, the peace. 
that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. The peace that will guard our hearts. The peace that will guard our minds. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. Yes, God. Your peace be still. Yes, God. I thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Father God, as the candidates get prepared for baptism today, Father God, I pray that you anoint them, Father God. Hallelujah, yes, God. Anoint them with the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God. Yes, God, that they would, that they would shine in the darkness with your light, Father God. Yes, God, fill them up, feed them, Father God, your Holy Word in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for this service. Great things, great things from heaven come down. Lord God, hear my prayer. Thank you, Lord. I'll be reading from Isaiah 40, 28, 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Hallelujah. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise him. Come on and praise him. Mighty God he is. Great is the Lord greatly to be praised for we serve a mighty God come on and praise him hallelujah glory 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 come on and put those hands together let's have a little church today and do your dance
and worship he has proven to be mighty he has proven to be mighty in every situation we have faced come on and lift those hands when we needed healing he healed us when we needed saving he saved us when we needed to be delivered he delivered us oh my god thank you Jesus Jesus. Come on and give him the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I will serve no foreign God, no For you are my heart's desire, the spirit without measure unto your name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will serve. I will serve no more. No more. Nor in any Nor in any other For you are my heart's desire. Yes, Lord.
Can somebody just give God the worship he deserves? Give the Lord the worship he deserves. Give the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory that is due unto his name. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord Jesus in the beauty of holiness. Beautiful Jesus. Beautiful Jesus. Beautiful Jesus. You can take this world. Give me him. You can take this world but give all I want is Jesus you can take this world but give put those hands together and give them praise Of your people. Hear the praises. 
Praise of your people. Let you come there. Let you come there. Let you come there. Let you come there. Let you come family how are we feeling today hallelujah hallelujah stop playing that man you better stop playing that <laughs> you better stop playing it you better stop while you can this will be a total worship service this will be a total worship service because i feel the spirit of god here this will be a complete worship How many people out here feel that we, they can have this world, but give me Jesus? How many of you out here feel that they can take the world? I don't need the world. Just give me Jesus. You gotta stop all you can. <laughs> if I think of the goodness in all he's done for me. Woo. Listen. He woke me up this morning. I got started on my way. You can take the world. I don't need it. I don't need it. But give me Jesus. All I need is Jesus. If you feel that way, put your hands together. Let me hit, let me. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Healing is found in worship. Healing is found in worship. If you came in here this morning and you need something, if you need a healing, now is the time to reach up and grab it. Now is the time to reach out because it's here for you. Jesus is here. See, I don't think you understand. <laughs> Come on, stay right there, yeah. 
You can take the world. presence of a sovereign God when you are in his presence I want you to rest upon your feet and I want you to give him all the glory that you can muster up because I'm telling you right now he's here today he is here today and everything that you need is right here in this worship service everything that you need is right here at this moment at this time all you got to do is ask him for it all you got to do is ask him for it. Reach up. Just reach up. Reach up. Hallelujah. Man. I, 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 I thought I was coming to do the, the welcome, but I find myself welcoming him. I'm welcoming him even the more. Welcoming him even the more, even the more because he's here. Glory, God. First and foremost, God, we welcome you into this service. We thank you for counting out robbery to visit us all today and to touch each and every one of the people here today. Touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, God. Let no one leave this place the same. Let no one leave this place the same. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus. I'll take it from here. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll take it from here. presence of the Lord. Understand this, everybody online and in-house, there is no program when the presence of the Lord interrupts. Hallelujah. We go through our program as best we can, but when you invoke the presence of Christ and he manifests himself, there is no program. There is no program. Well, what are they doing? How, well, all we know how to do is when the king shows up, we honor the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the king shows up, he said, lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be lifted up everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory well if you want to know he is
is the Lord God, strong and mighty. The Lord God's mighty in battle. He is the king. Lift up your head. All ye gates, be lifted up. The everlasting doors. And the king of glory, he has come in. I'll tell you the truth, he has come in. And he has manifested himself in this service. And he has come to receive the glory that we give to him freely. Freely in housing online, we give the glory to God. You can feel the manifested power of God. You can feel the tangible anointing of God. And so we worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. We worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. One more time before you take your seats. In your own way, give him the most loving praise you have. Love him, love him. Love him, love him. Love him without anything, without any fanfare. Love on the Lord. Express your heart to God. Express your passion to God. The king and his kingdom. He is the king and we are in his kingdom. King and his kingdom. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hey, I'm, t I, I, I'm, I'm doing what I know how to do. I'm, I'm interrupting everything. Hallelujah. But when you feel the presence of the Lord like this, it is confirmation. It is confirmation that he is the true and living God. It is confirmation that we have served and are serving the only God. No other religion, no other reformation can bring the presence of God like this. Hallelujah. Where you can be healed in a worship service. Hallelujah. Where you, where you can feel the presence of God lift your burden while the song goes forward. Nobody's got to lay a hand on you. It's just the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord drives away everything not like him. That's why the enemy doesn't want us to gather. That's why the enemy tries to keep us separated. That's why the enemy tries to lull us into complacency because he understands that if we come together, he said, if two or three are gathered together in my name, I'll show up in the midst and he's showing up today and showing off today. Show off Jesus. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every divisive spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against every foul lying spirit. The glory of God is too great. We cannot be toppled. The glory of God is too great. We are overcomers. The glory of God is too great. We will not be consumed. The glory of God is too great. We will not fear what man can do unto us. The glory of God is too great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get through this. But I'm telling you, this service almost turned into a total worship service. No, no preaching, no nothing. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta know that when you when you call on him, when you when you invoke his presence, he shows up. And I've got news for you. Every one of your struggles are destroyed in Jesus' name. You're in the right service on the right day. Every one of your struggles are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're gonna walk over the ashes of them. You're going to walk over the ashes of them. Hallelujah. You're going to walk through it victorious. You're going to walk through this thing. Did you hear what I said? You cannot be defeated. As a matter of fact, you will not be defeated. 
greater is he that is in you greater is he that is in you than that devil that's in the world than that devil that is in the world can, can I preach right quick uh, uh, sing this, uh, give me a moment let me let me preach mute those mics uh, I gotta preach real quickly hallelujah hallelujah come on fix this microphone here hallelujah glory to God hallelujah I feel the power of God I feel the power of God and yesterday afternoon the Lord just started really downloading into me downloading into me that there is an onslaught of the enemy to divide the church there's an onslaught of the enemy to cause havoc and wreak havoc in the church there's an onslaught of the enemy to stop the progress of the church satanic powers from the outside and even plants from the inside there are situations and, and, and devices that the enemies tried to devise to cause the church to fall, to, to fail, to cause the church to have cycles of chaos. But I got news for you. I got news for you. The greatest attempt of the enemy has already been defeated on the cross of Calvary. And whoever joins forces with the fallen satanic powers will suffer the same consequence as happened 2,000 years ago on the cross where God destroyed the works of the devil. The Bible says for this cause was the son of man come made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. And I got news for you. The devil's work was destroyed completely on the cross of Calvary. And for anybody who wants to hook up with the devil, you're on a losing team. Your greatest attempts against the church will fail just like Satan failed. There will be no division. There will be no schism. There will be no separation. Hallelujah. Do your worst because when you're finished, you don't have to deal with us. You've got to deal with God. I feel a righteous indignation. I'm trying to warn some folk that you, 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 you got to make sure that you, that, you, that you don't allow the enemy to suck you in from the inside. If God put you here, you got to understand that, that there will be bumps along the road. There will be troubles. But the one thing that the enemy can't deal with is a united front. Oh, don't get quiet now. Can't deal with folk that won't be swayed by the demonic attacks of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the truth of the matter is nobody that is led by God is here on their own accord. Nobody that's in this ministry or in any ministry that is led by God is there on their own accord. God leads according to his divine will. And where God puts you is for a purpose. I don't hear anybody. Where God puts you is for a purpose. And guess what? Satan hates that purpose. So Satan's got to work overtime to get you to leave that purpose. So that the work can be slowed up. But understand this, it may be slowed up, but it won't be stopped. I don't hear nobody here. It won't be stopped. For the work of the Lord. It's called by God himself. And when you fight against the work, you fight against God. I don't hear nobody. 
I, 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 just, I just want to put that PSA out. I want to put that public service announcement out and let you know that the body of Christ is secure. Play with me. The body of Christ is secure. The body of Christ, this church, and I'm not talking about PFC, I'm talking about this church of the kingdom of God is founded upon Jesus Christ. Upon this rock, Russell Jesus said this, this ain't my words. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the very gates of hell itself. Oh, Kotanda. That's why you got to make sure whose side you on because the very gates of hell cannot prevail. <laughs> cannot prevail against the true church. Let the heathens rage. Formulate your schemes and your plans. Circulate your, 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 your ill words. But by the time the smoke clears and the dust settles, church is going to be standing straight. Because you, <laughs> the church, in the words, the church ain't no easy kill. Can't kill the church at all. Hallelujah. Because in order to get to the church, you've got to go through Jesus. And you can't handle Jesus. I'm talking to every queen. You, they, you can't handle Jesus. Good to see you. Can't handle Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't handle him. <laughs> he, he not, he, he's loving. He's compassionate. He's kind. He's faithful. He's forgiven, but he also carries a sword. Don't, don't play him cheap. He will embrace everyone until you mess with his children. Because he's a good father. The Bible said, let God arise. See, you don't want to see that time. Let God arise. And his enemies. Yeah. The glory of God is in this house. And the enemy, the powers of hell, Dr. Hebsheim, the powers of hell are on an assignment to cripple the church worldwide. Worldwide. Different stratagems, different techniques and tactics, but all for one purpose, to cripple the church, change the opinions of people and culture, change, change the thoughts and what, which, which were once respectful. There was a time where people wouldn't even smoke a cigarette pass in the church. They put it behind their back. Amen. I don't hear anybody. There's a time when they would come to church and feel the conviction and sit in the back and be afraid to come to the front. It, not for anything else, but for respect. It wasn't necessary, but it was because they respected. <laughs> Hallelujah. They would, they, 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 they would feel out of place because it was a, it was a sacred place. Yeah, and we, we failed to let them know you can come just as you are baby it's sacred but it's for you come on in come on in y'all don't hear anybody come on in you don't have to come in any other way just come on in just come on in amen but this, there, this, in this era there is a disrespect for church on the outside because of some of the things that they've seen and on the inside because of some of the ways that we act Mm -hmm. on the outside they see a, 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 a resistance to them they see that you know, I'm not we don't accept you like that we don't accept you to, you got to get a little better than that before you come to the church how you going to come to church in Daisy Dukes how you going to come to church with, with, with cut up jeans and 
How you gonna come to church looking like that with a halter top and a midriff? How foolish we've become. Because we, we, we were, we were, we were, we're confusing. Because with one mouth we say, come as you are. And then when they come as they are, we say, come back another way. And we confuse the people who want Jesus. And we claim that they don't want Jesus because they don't come. No, they don't come because they want Jesus and his representatives have jacked him up. And I know, I know some of you ain't clapping now. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. You ain't got you, if, if it hurts you, just take the blow. Just take the blow and change your way. Amen. 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 We, we make church too hard. We, we make worship for, uh, uh, and acceptance of Christ too hard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, people are supposed to come in any and every form, find the love of God, Amen. and have the love of God embrace them to the point of change. Come drunk, come high, come on meth, come on pills, come sexually broken. I don't care how you come. Come as a violator, come as one violated. I don't care how you come. Just get here. I don't care what you did. I don't care if you had a prison sentence. I don't care if you spent time in the pen. It don't matter. You're free by Jesus' power. And if you're watching in jail right now, you may be incarcerated physically, but you're free spiritually. He's right there with you. See, I didn't hear an affirmation here. Because you think Jesus is only in the, in the sanctuary. Wherever two or three are gathered together, he's there. I don't care if you're standing on the top of Mount Carmel, he's there. I don't hear anybody here. I don't care if you're held in a prison cell, he's there. Uh, Y'all don't hear me? I don't care if you're in a graveyard crazy, he's there. Y'all not hearing me? I don't care if you're caught in the act of adultery and repent, he's there. He's there to cause you to repent, to cleanse you and free you from the bondage. There is no sin that keeps God away. God loves you. And wherever you are, you go to the club, sit at that bar at 2 o'clock in the morning, trying to drink your sorrows away, and he's tapping you on your shoulder. Some of y'all are witnesses. But if he'll go to the club and get you in the club and... I don't hear anybody. If he'll go to the gang and get you in the gang, and if he'll go to the prison and get you in the prison, why won't he get you in the church? Come as you are. He'll get you in your house. He'll get you in your bedroom. Hallelujah. For God is everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm taking too long with this. I'm taking too long with this. Hallelujah. What I want to tell you is that the enemy's job and desire is to cause division. He wants to separate us. It's a a divide and conquer thing. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Hallelujah. But I got news for you. When you you know who you are in Christ, Jamari, when you know who you are in Christ, the attempts of the devil are null and void. The devil can hit you with his hardest blow. The devil can hit you with his hardest blow. And after he finished, you say, that's the best you got? And then you look at him and say, I ain't going nowhere. Somebody say, I ain't going nowhere. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't going nowhere. I, I know this is a little, a 
little urban, a little ebonically challenged. I know, I know, I know. It's not, I'm not going anywhere. But sometimes you got to get straight up with the devil. Sometimes you got to get straight up with the situations. Sometimes you got to take your tie off and sometimes you got to grease your little sideburns and grease your face and take your shrimp earrings off and roll up your sleeves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You, you, you black sisters know what I'm talking about. Amen. Got to kick off them heels. Brothers take off their shirts. I don't know why they take their shirts off. They got to take off their shirts. And you got to get like that with the devil sometimes. You got to take off your shirt. You got to, you got, you got to take off your earrings. And, 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 and it's not no niceties involved in this. Ain't no pleasantries in this. Because you're trying to mess up my future. You're trying to get me off course. Trying to get me off my mark. But I got news for you. I'm long in the tooth in this game. I've been in this too long and I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. You got to tell the devil, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. I ain't, I ain't playing pull up. Because when you pull up on site, on site, I ain't going nowhere. Standing on business. I'm standing on business. You got to stand on business. On site. And I'm not playing. On set, for you older ones, on site means I'm not even saying nothing when I see you. I'm just going to knock you out. Ain't no talking when I see you. Ain't, ain't no talking. Ain't no negotiations. Keep that same energy, Satan. Keep that same energy. Because when I see you, I'm knocking you out on site. Too much talking. On site. I'm very serious. I know these idioms are, 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 are cultural, but this, this fits this sermon so well. Because you got to learn how to knock out the devil. Knock him plumb out. Because he should have asked somebody before he came up on you. He should have consulted with somebody. Because you ain't that same broken person that he thought he had. Things have changed since last he saw you. <laughs> he, he, he left you broken and thought, oh, you have no consequence. He left you hurting and said, you're innocuous. You can cause me no trouble. But when he turned his back, you turned your head and called out to Jesus. And Jesus gave you the understanding of who you are. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath her. You are always triumphant. Always victorious. You are more than a... And when the enemy comes against you, the Bible said, resist him. Don't back up. Don't acquiesce. Don't give him leniency. Don't, 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 don't worry about him. When he comes against you, the Bible said, resist. Now get this straight. We're not talking about people. He ain't telling you to fight against people. But the demonic power behind the people. Y'all don't hear me. The demonic puppet master that's pulling the people's arms and legs. He said, deal with that spirit. Have mercy on the, on, on the, on, on the marionette. <laughs> Have mercy on the puppet. <laughs> but kill the puppet master. Somebody's getting this. Kill the puppet master he said resist the devil and the devil is not expecting you to push back the devil's not expecting a pushback 
He's done it for so long without anybody really serving any consequences. And he's used to you giving in to the blow. He's used to you focusing in on the negative. He's used to you accepting the failure. He's used to you giving all over to him. But the day has changed and the method has shifted. When the Bible says resist the devil, you cannot change that to resist the person. He said, resist the devil. And when you resist the devil, that word flee means to run in terror. When you resist the devil, he gets nervous because he realizes you know your power. He realizes you know your authority. And when you know your authority, Satan can't mess with you without getting hurt. And it's time for you to put a whooping on the devil. It's time for you to walk through your house and let the devil know that it all ends here. Y'all don't hear me here. I'm going too far. I've, I've got four messages going. Minister McLeod, I've got four messages going at one time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to let the enemy know that this is a different day. It's a different day. You got to let the enemy know, don't, don't look, look. I see how you're coming. You're coming through people. Because you can't come up on me one-on-one. -on -one. Because he gave me the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing that you do can hurt me. Y'all don't hear me. You can make me cry, but you can't hurt me. You can trouble me, but you can't hurt me. Hallelujah. So, 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 so. So he tries to use people. Some willing, some stooges. Hallelujah because he wants to get there to be some kind of a conflict. But let me tell you, baby dolls, I'm not wrestling against flesh and blood. You got to get to that point where you look at, this, at, the, at the people and say, you're not the problem. And I'm not fighting with you. But my, 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 my fight is with the, with the principalities. My fight is with the powers. Y'all don't hear me. My powers is with the spirit of, 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 of the, 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 the spirit, spiritual wickedness in high places. That, that's where my fight is. I don't hear anybody here. Because the, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not an AK. It's not a nine millimeter. I don't hear nobody here. Ain't a Smith and Wesson. The, the, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not a nuclear bomb. Hallelujah. We're not dealing with drones and bombs. The, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty. I wish I had some warriors here. I wish I had some warriors here. God don't need no passive scared cowards. God needs people who are understanding that there's a time for peace and a time for war. Y'all don't hear me, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against your knowledge of who God is, bringing into captivity every thought, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. When you know who you are and you know your authority, you look at the situations pending and say, I know why you're here. You're here to distract me. You're here to get me to give up. You're here to get me frustrated so I can walk away. 
but I ain't going nowhere. The Bible said this, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of ungodly people. There are people that may be in church, but they're not godly. You got to watch who talks to you. Because godly people don't drop gossip in your ear. I say it again. Watch the dog that brings a bone. Because that dog is going to carry a bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a little quiet now. That's okay. I, I don't hear anybody here. You don't walk in the counsel of ungodly people. You don't take advice from ungodly people because ungodly people are going to give you ungodly advice. Jamari, are you, are you, I'm going to need you to help me preach this, Reverend. It, the, the, the ungodly people are going to give you ungodly advice. A blessed man doesn't walk in the counsel of an ungodly people. If you're blessed, you ain't hanging out with the ungodly. You're trying to save the ungodly. If you're blessed, you ain't hanging out with those naysayers. Then you're not hanging out with those, the, the, those, 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 those people that don't reverence the word. Well, how else are you going to save them? I can win you to Jesus by loving you without hanging out with you. I don't hear nobody. I ain't got to roll with you to love you. As a matter of fact, I love you better by not being where you are in your sin so I can help you get out of that thing. Don't nobody want to hear about Jesus when somebody's smoking the same smoke they smoking? You passing the blunt talking about, yeah, you need Jesus. They don't want to hear that. Because you can't fool them. You can't play a player. You can't play a player. I just went back to the 80s. You can't play a player. Amen. For the spiritual people in the room, for the spiritual people, let me speak to the spiritual people. In Amos 3 and 3, it says, how can two walk together, except they be agreed? You, 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 you got to be. Blessed is the man. The man that's blessed doesn't walk with the ungodly. He'll help the ungodly, but he won't walk with him. He'll love the ungodly, but he won't run with him. Blessed is that man that knows how to separate and keep the clean, clean and the holy, holy. I don't hear nobody here. Yeah. Knows how to slap the hand of somebody bringing them stuff that ain't right. Don't bring that over here. This is holy. This is holy. This is a no-nonsense zone. This is, this is a no-foolishness zone. Keep your foolery out there. This is a no-foolery zone. Because I ain't going nowhere. Bless it. Give me 15 more minutes and I'll be done. 20. Bless it. Is the man that's not hanging out with the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners. Well, oh, that just means nor hanging and running with sinners. Nor sitting in the seat of the scornful. Nor sitting in the place where people are scorning one another. I'm not sitting around here and you talk about somebody else. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about railing them and tearing them down. I don't hear nobody here. Don't sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in God's law, 
You meditate to know how the kingdom runs. You meditate day and night. In other words, I got, I, I, I got 12 hours to mind my business and 12 hours to leave yours alone. Look at something I say, I ain't going nowhere. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in that Lord does he meditate both day and night, and he shall be. Like a tree. Let's talk about that tree for a minute. The only reason why you see a tall tree is because it's got long roots. The roots have gone so deep into the ground. Before the tree starts to go upward, it goes downward to make sure it's secure once it peeks through the soil. To make sure that it grows deeper downward so that when it gets into the elements and the climates, it already has its hydration from underground. It already has its stability from underground so that when the hurricane wind blows, the tree may bend but it won't break. Somebody say, I bend, but I don't break. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Why the rivers of water? Because if it's planted by the river, it draws its moisture and it increases its growth from the nutrients of the ground and from the constant moisture. Hallelujah. It grows taller, stronger by the river. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Who will bring forth his fruit in his season. Meaning that if you don't go nowhere, you will produce. Well, you know, there's so much that go wrong in church. There's so many things wrong in church. No, maybe you're just growing up through the dirt. Oh, no, no, I see y'all didn't clap over here. It's okay, it's okay. It's a lesson, learn, learn, it's a lesson. You can't have growth without dirt. Y'all not hearing me? Uh, this is supposed to be a church. It is. But it's a church that's rooted and grounded. And it's come up through the dirt. So you, you, you run from, the, from your cresting. You run from your producing. You run as you're just coming up through the dirt. And you don't let it, the process finish. Because as you come through the dirt, you grow above the dirt and you produce because of the dirt. Y'all ain't got that. Y'all ain't got that. And it's supposed to be a church. It is full of dirty people. Trying to get clean. Glory to God. I ain't going to do all I'm doing to get clean for you to come and pour more mess on me. No. Shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Bringeth forth its fruit in its own season. And its leaves also shall not wither. See, you cannot leave where God has put you. You have to bloom where you're planted. Amen. Through all of the vicissitudes, you must bloom where you're planted. Do I have any, any witnesses here? There are many people here that have made up in their mind several times, I ain't coming back to the church. Sitting here looking at me in my face right now. I, I, I ain't coming back to the church because that's just, I just, I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. Took a couple of weeks off and came back here. Went and joined another church, left there and came back. 
because there's destiny where God puts you. There is destiny where God puts you. There is productivity where God puts you and there's also trial where God puts you. I don't know, I don't know what it is that makes us quit. I don't, I don't know what it is that makes us just quit. The Bible said, if you know, if you live God, then you're going to suffer some persecution. Uh, 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 what makes a Christian just say, that's it. I'm not going to function where God put me. Because of people. Because of emotions. Because of feelings. And you lose sight of the true purpose of why God put you in a place. And because of that, you slow your progress up and move backwards while everybody else is moving forward. No, no, I, 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 I heard it in the spirit. You just trying to run a guilt trip on me. No, 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 that's your conviction talking right now. This hit your conviction. Amen. Trying to run a guilt trip on me. I'm not, I don't even know your situation. I'm just preaching what God gave me. And if that shoe is a size 12, if that shoe fits, wear it. It's going to do you good. Shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You will bring forth your fruit in your season. And your leaf also shall not wither and whatever you do where you're planted and flourishing will prosper but you've got to stay the course you've got to stay the course Job said in the book of Job, the 14th chapter, the 14th verse, Job said this. He said, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, all the days of my appointed time, all the days of my appointed time, Will I wait until my change comes? In other words, all the time that I've been appointed, I ain't going nowhere. Every day that God has given me, I am totally convinced that there's a purpose for it and I'm not going anywhere. Let the winds blow, I'm not going anywhere. Let the thunder roll, I'm not going anywhere. Let the lightning flash, I'm not going anywhere. I don't hear anybody. Let the rains come, I'm not going anywhere. Let the billows roll, I'm not going anywhere. Let people leave me, I'm not going anywhere. Let people ridicule me, I'm not going anywhere. Let people talk about me, I'm not going anywhere because we are rooted and grounded in God everything that we're doing in the church world around the world is for a divine purpose before the coming of Jesus Christ and the enemy would love more than anything else to get you off your, off your mark at this close return of Jesus this is the wrong time to allow your emotions to lead you this is the wrong time to allow yourself to be taken off of your mark. This is the time to run headlong into purpose. Headlong into purpose. This house is full today. Full of believers. Full. 
This house is full today when the people and the culture said that people would never come back to church again. This house is full today. Seats that have been occupied by other people that have come in taking the place of other people who left. This house is full today with people who took the comfort of standing behind a screen when they could be in the sanctuary. God said, that's all right. Come. And the people have come in from every area. And the greatest amalgamation of people that are here are the young adults. No, 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 no. They said in this culture that the youth don't believe in church anymore. The young people ain't coming to church. I want everyone from the age of 13 up to 30 to stand up. Turn around and look at these people. Come on, stand up, I said. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Amen. They said, they said that you all wouldn't ever come back to church. They said that you all would never, ever be a part of the ministries again. But the truth of the matter is Satan always lied. He's always lied. And the young people here, where's Afro man? Is Afro man here? Where Afro? That's Afro man. That's Afro man. He, he laying low. He laying low. He done, he done braided it up. But I look at people like Afro man. I look at people that are, are young and, 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 and adventurous and really, really died in the wall like them Thornton boys. Stand up, boys. And I want you to do me a favor. I want you all to do me a favor. Tristan, I want, uh, 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 I want you to put that, uh, that camera on Tristan. Put that camera on Tristan. Put that camera on Tristan. Switch over to me real quick. Switch over to me real quick. And now, now that you're looking at me, I want all the young people that are back there in the booth, I want you to stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, sir. Now put that camera back there on the booth. Amen. Put that, put that camera back on me. Put that camera on me. Put that camera on me. Put the camera. And, and I want you to put that camera right over here on the, on the leader of our young people. Stand up, Sarah. I am so, and my time is up. I am so in love with this ministry. Our mothers, our men, everybody in the, the departments, I am so in love with this church. And I got news for you. I ain't going nowhere. You're about to make me cry. I ain't going nowhere. And everybody who has that same mindset that you ain't going nowhere, jump up and celebrate right now. Jump up and celebrate right now.
Cause I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to say, I need you. Next, you don't have to look at him, just grab the hand and just sing. I need you, you need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me, agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need that's it. Success. You are important. Oh, my mind needs you to survive. Oh, you are important to me. I need you to survive. Now, turn to the person you held hands with and hug him and tell him I love you. I love you. To those of you online, I love you. God bless every one of you. That's right. Just type down right now. Type, I love you. Type, I love you. As a matter of fact, type this. Type, I ain't going nowhere. Around the world, just type, I ain't going nowhere. That's right. Type whatever country you're from and say, I ain't going nowhere.
because we don't need any air between us. We don't need any space between us. And the enemy comes to divide and conquer and we will not allow that to take place. Or we won't concern ourselves with other things because God will fight every battle. But the one thing that we must do is we must remain united. We must remain united. Did you hear me? This is not going to be a church of brokenness and factions and amen. This is not going to be a church of cliques and not going to be a church of divisions. This is going to be a church of oneness, wholeness. Amen. This year I'm going to have some people come and sit down and teach. Like Dr. Bernice, I'm going to have people come in and teach. And we're going to develop this, this oneness, this unity. Old and young. I was talking to them, uh, Elder Bernice, I was talking to them down in the dance, in, 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 the, in the Fine Arts Friday. And I was saying, this is a beautiful thing where you see the old and the young dancing together. Well, no, I'm sorry, when you see the seasoned and the young dancing together. And them loving every minute of it. The seasoned loving the, the youth and the youth loving the season. Some of the youth can't keep up. Some of the youth can't keep up. They're, they're just... But let's just dance, baby. Just dance. Just dance. And some of the older, the seasoned ones is... That's okay. That's a... They got Ben Gay for that. Dance, dance, dance. Dance. But they are a prototype of how this church functions. The elders and the young can join together. No, really. Sandra, well, we, 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 we started a nursery in the back. On Thursday nights, there's a nursery. Everybody's baby, lap babies, is in the back. The Wharton twins is in the back. And Dalen is in the back, and and, and Kason is somewhere on the etch a sketch, and it, it, it's a it's a it's a nursery, but people feel comfortable coming amongst the multicultural, the multi generations. Amen. We're a body. I can I can I can look forward to Sundays because I know I'm gonna get some food. Chris, they cook for me. That's why this is coming in. They be cooking for me. Get back there, there's a white bag from, from Aquila. Open it up, my God, yes, God. Then I nailed it, sneaking something in, I'm, yes, God. Then Charlene brought me some pasta and soup, and I said, yes, Jesus. I got a refrigerator full of food. I can't eat all at one time, but it's all coming about. Amen. And that's the beauty of this, that we are one body. Let nobody separate the one body. And when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you that we got a great church, got a great church. By the end of this year, I don't know how we're going to be able to keep the people, uh, hold, the, hold the people because each week more people coming. And we may have to find another location soon. But this is a beautiful thing. Let's move forward together, beloved. Let's move forward together. Everyone standing. If there's anybody here today that says, Pastor, Pastor McClurkin, honestly, I want to get my life right with God. I want to get my life right with God. I know he's coming soon. I'm looking at all this happening in the world. I'm looking at Iran bombing Israel and 
looking at Israel about to go into full war against Iran, and then Lebanon sending bombs over to Israel and bombing Israel, and from every corner Israel is being bombed. We're playing politics here in America while the world's about to go into World War III. We are in a bad place, and Jesus is coming soon. In Matthew 24, you read about from, chap from verse 3 to about verse 13. You read all of the negative things. Matthew 24, 3 to 13, you read all of the negative things that are going to happen before the return of Jesus. And then Jesus puts a but there at verse 14. And with all of the bad news, false prophets, people saying that they're the Christ, people hating people, people betraying people, people killing one another, nation rising up against nation, race against race, kingdom against kingdom, nation against, that's country against country. All these things must come to pass, he said. But then he, he counters it by saying, and this gospel of the kingdom, this, what is gospel? Out of all that bad news, this good news. And only the, only the believers will pick this up and run with this. Out of all the bad things that are happening in the countries and in the, in the races and, in, and in, the, in the hearts of man and, and in religion, all the bad things, he says, and this gospel, this good news will counteract all of that. This good news of the kingdom, while we're focusing in on the negative, he says, this good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations to all ethnicities and then the end shall come we are at that point and i want everyone that's not prepared not living for jesus to know that it's it's a very very sensitive time and he's calling you He's calling you. As Noah called on the people before the flood, and they did not listen, and he went and he got all the animals, there will come a time where there won't be a call. There will come a time where there won't be another preacher. There will come a time when the saints will be taken away. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. Keep working and waiting, come, there's still room. No man knows the hour when we'll see the groom. Soon coming for his bride, Jesus is coming soon. And if there's anybody that says, I want to be ready, will you pray for me? I want to give my life to the Lord. At the count of three, I want you to throw your hand up. Don't be afraid. He is calling you. At the count of three, if you want to give your life to the Lord, raise your hand. One, two, three. Raise that hand up. Raise that hand up. Raise that hand. Raise that hand. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Is there anybody else? Raise that hand. One, two, three. Raise that hand. Raise that hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can pray for them right where they are. Pray right where they are. That's right, God bless you, old man. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Hey, Chris, we got another Afro man. Bless you, pray with you. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. David, I want you to come down and I want you to stand with him. Hallelujah. Sarah, I want you to come down and stand with her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, for anyone that's watching online that wants to give their life to Jesus with these two wonderful young adults, I pray let your conviction be upon these three. In Jesus' name, I pray that your hand be upon them. 
I pray that you would wash away every one of their sins as they confess before you and as they turn their lives over into your capable hands. Let your love overwhelm them and overtake them, I pray in your name, Jesus. And let their lives never be the same. Because when Jesus comes into a person's life, their life will never be the same. So, Father, thank you. And we praise you. Now, Lord God, forgive every sin I ask of you. And that's not a hard ask because that's what you want to do. That's what you died to do. So, Lord God, let them know, let them know that their sins are forgiven and that their life is changed. God, by you, guide them by your spirit to a strong Bible-believing church, I pray. In your name, Jesus. Everyone say, Lord Jesus, come into my life for the rest of my life. I accept you as my Savior today. And I give you all. Change me. Transform me. Let me know true love through you, Jesus Christ. I denounce all my sin. And I accept your salvation. I accept you, Jesus. So, Father, for everyone that prayed that prayer earnestly, I pray, Lord, that you would fill them with your spirit. I pray that they'd be baptized in your name and that you'd lead them to a righteous church. Lord God, and let their relationship with you grow day by day. In your matchless, mighty name, Lord Jesus. And every glad heart said, Amen. Amen. Welcome to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> What's your name? Damon? Damon? What's your name? Anasha? That's David Damon. That's Sarah Anasha. Turn around and... You know. Now listen, they're going to take you. They're gonna, the, the ministers that pray for you are going to take you. They're going to talk to you for a minute. How old are you, Damon? Damon? 21? How old are you, Anasha? 13? All right, listen. They're going to take you. Where's your mama? Huh? That's your mama. Come over here. Anasha's mama, come on over here. Come on here. You, we're going to baptize you, but just come on. <laughs> and I want you to go there because she's underage. I want you all to go. They're going to talk to you for a minute. Where you live, boy? Roosevelt, where you live, girl? Good. All right. You live wherever she lives. Praise the Lord. Come back. You, Roosevelt, I'll drive down the street. I'll see you. <laughs> come take them and talk to them real quick. And well, let's welcome them. Dave, go with them. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, go with them. Somebody so and those two in the back? Where are those two in the back? Amen. Amen. Grab them. Let them go with them too. Let them go with them too. Can they walk? Can they walk? They can't walk? All right. I want two people to go back there and I want you to get their names and their information. Ministers, go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. Huh? Huh? They speak what language? Oh, she's back there. Okay, good. Cool. Amen. Thought you better stop screaming at me. <laughs> she said, I said Saru is back there. Worship God in our giving real quickly. Somebody praise God. Amen. Amen. If you give me, if you give me 10 more minutes, if you give me 10 more minutes, we'll be gone. All right. So I want everybody to prepare your offering. Prepare your offering. We're gonna we're gonna worship God in our giving. You know, and, and whatever form of giving that you give, whether by PayPal or Zelle, we have a new Zelle account, a new Zelle account. Our Zelle account, the telephone number is for Zelle is 516-580-14. Jesus, you're going to be giving to somebody else. 516-508-1403. That's 516-508-1403. Amen. That's by our Zelle account. Amen. Amen. 
If there's no cash app, we don't give by cash app anymore. Amen. Amen. Don't you give by, don't, don't give. If, if there's an account that comes up that says Perfect and Faith Church, it's a, it's a devil trying to take your money. And you just type in, the Lord rebuke you and send it. Amen. And I want you to prepare your hearts to give what they give it. If you need an envelope, raise your hands. The ushers are in the aisle. If you need an envelope, raise your hands. The ushers are in the aisle. Raise your hand up high. And the ushers will facilitate you. Hallelujah. Amen. How are we doing, Daniel? We doing good? Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. The ushers in the aisle, please take an envelope. Fill the envelope up out in its entirety. We believe in tithing. We are a tithing church. We are a tithing church. I have been speaking every Wednesday night on giving. And I want you to put that into practice, put that into play. Give cheerfully, give liberally. Amen. Amen. Raise your hand high. The ushers are coming to you. Just, amen. I got to teach y'all how to do this. Ushers. You just grab a batch and pass it down and let the other side pick it up and pass it back down that way. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Raise your hands if you need an envelope. Amen. Ushers, come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. They'll raise their hands. Amen. Glory to God. And I want you to prepare your hearts to give. I want you to worship God. I want you to give liberally and cheerfully because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And we are going to sow and go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen Allen. Happy birthday to you. She's 52 years old today. Huh? 13. Huh? She's 52 years old. <laughs> she is in her early 40s, thank the Lord. And we praise God for her. She's been here from the beginning. I thank God for Karen Allen. And all of the beautiful April babies, all of the beautiful April babies. <laughs> Aquila. <laughs> She act like, it's just me. <laughs> there are some announcements that needs to be made on camera. I don't know what those announcements are, but what are they? Put them up so I can say them. Come on, put them up real quick. You don't, you don't have them? All right, amen. We're going to worship God not giving. We are going to sow. And we're going to baptize these wonderful baptismal candidates. Four candidates today are going to be baptized. Somebody praise God for our baptismal candidates. Let's look to the Lord. On four, at 4 o'clock today, we will be at Perfecting New Generation. Tune in on this same broadcast. It'll be on Perfecting Faith Church's broadcast, but it will be Perfecting New Generation. I will see you at 4 o'clock. But from Perfecting Faith Church, where ministry means people, I want you to walk in the favor of God, and God bless you. I ain't going nowhere. Let that be your motto. I ain't going nowhere. No matter what you see, no matter what anybody says, just make it plain. I ain't going nowhere. God bless you. We'll see you today at four. Amen. Somebody give God a great, great shout of praise here. God bless you. We've come to the end of the service, and this is a perfect time for you to sow your seed. As you may not have been able to do so freely during the service, now you are at liberty to be able to sow that seed into the kingdom soil. Your tithe and your offerings are welcomed here. So pray and let the Lord lead you on what to give, but make sure that you sow liberally and cheerfully, for God loves a cheerful giver. At this point in time, I leave you and I thank God for the message and the service that you heard. Now, sow that seed and we'll take this gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. God bless you.